Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into his stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. And we're underway. Bernat. Bernat goes on an adventurous run. Good block, but at the expense of a corner. And it's Murnier. Goes for goal! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Delicate ball. Played into the middle. That's too far for anyone. Marco Verratti. Now to be all about width. Well, that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Marquinhos tries a shot. Decent enough try. Neymar weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Mbappe, Mbappe, looking for a decent ball in, aimed in towards the centre. Neymar with the short one. And it's Bernat, and the shot! Try, the outcome could so easily have been different. Bernat did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Nolt seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Meunier does well to read it and intercepts. Di Maria. 
Dimitri Suke. Paris Saint-Germain have it back and they can go again. It's got through and... No goals as yet. Here's Di it's Di Maria! Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Peter, the keeper knows that even if his wall is perfect, it doesn't serve as any guarantee here. Neymar ready to try one. to the right. Tries to dink it in. Bernat battles to win it back. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Neymar. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. He gets past his man, surely. And he has been fouled there. Mbappe, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And here's Neymar. Has a pop! Superb goal! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Paris Saint-Germain draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Berati drives it forward. Neymar, Neymar brings the ball forward, it could be in here. Tries to get it forward quickly, plays it out to the wing. Hit into the middle. Hoists it forward. There's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Robert still had its moments.
but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Paris Saint-Germain merit their advantage on, on the balance of play. They did most of the probing and got their reward, although they should have a bigger lead. Could come back to haunt them. Paris Saint-Germain come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. There's certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. Already up and running for the second half. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. Marco Verratti. Team has a hit! It's gone a long way up and away. Verratti. Verratti was not to be moved. Looking to break out here. That a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Too much on it. Marquinhos. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Dashing forward at pace. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Across the field it goes, and it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. And that's been won straight back. Three kicks been given. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. And he's there to cut it out. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. <laughs> the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Marquinhos could be thinking about a shot. He has a hit! Paris Saint-Germain are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and moving and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal plans.
Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Well positioned to make that interception. Nantes look completely out of sorts when it comes to crucial moments, Peter. They've lost composure and that killer instinct. Idrissa Gay. Forward it goes. Thiago Silva. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. Idrissa Gay. Challenge, but well within the laws. And it's Neymar. Hoists it high. Shot a goal! They are rampant! And they are cruising away. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely critical. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due, and it was a brilliant setup and finish. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Di Maria, Mbappe, oh, good ball. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. That's a foul. No two ways about it. And he has shown him a yellow card. Marco Verratti. It's Neymar. And time is up. Paris Saint-Germain enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. How do you look back on the game then, Jim?